What's going on pros? This is Mike with another Dirty Promotions video. I'm going to give this installation a little bit of a twist, a little bit of information that I hadn't done before. Uh, it had film on before. Uh, it's a Chevy pickup. I'm going to remove it, but I'll do this video a little bit slowly. Some people appreciate it when I slow down and talk more about what's going on through my mind of what am I doing and all that kind of stuff. This is a Chevy pickup, but this one has a very, very deep thing to where if you remove Try to remove the gasket to put it back in there it's you have to remove the panel so this is going to call for a pretty much a two stage um i can remove the panel but i don't like to and being that this is such an easy two stage doesn't have fuzz it's not real deep but of course um any installation can you know it can be fucked up by doing the wrong uh methods here we get entrail ant trails dust shit like this lines from stuff like that so let's go ahead and get started kind of eyeball what's going to be going on and if you have any other questions ask in the comments or you know call me up and say with videos this is what i do or it's going on or whatever so right off the bat because it's going to be a uh, two stage i'm going to go ahead and just clean just a little bit here okay just a little bit meaning pretty much about that much the more you scrub i know you can get more dirt out but that's not the point i really don't want to get all the dirt out i just want to get most of it out because with the liquid control meaning my gun that i'm going to be using it i'm going to go ahead and control some of this shit staying back there and in there okay that's why i don't use um you know my heavier weapons because if you see here i want you to see something real quick this has a lot of pressure so when you hit the window like that it hits it and comes back slowly and i don't like that because when it hits it it's going to get some dirt from in there and bring it over here so you see how it hits it's just powerful like you see i'm shooting here and it goes this way and this way real fast so that's what i don't like to use these for the i'll use them for back windows windshields and a lot of other things you know like my peel board peeling the film and doing all that kind of stuff but for these deals, it requires a lot of precision, you know, kind of like surgical, you know. I always tell people that window film, window tinting is like brain surgery. If you know that there is something that came in here, but well, I can't see it, well, but you know, common sense, you know, splash water in there, it's going to come back. Commercial tinting, the same thing, right? So go ahead, we'll control all that. So we already got rid of some of that deal. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of the adhesive here on the side and then we'll continue doing our pattern and our two-stage install okay there's some stuff way down there i can't reach it so i'm just gonna have to do this right here okay even though a customer tells me well i already cleaned it yeah i know but of course, we as installers know that this crap right here is something they can't reach and it's going to come up in my film if I don't, or under my film if I don't take care of it. So, that, that. Put that here momentarily. Like I said, I don't want to disturb that anymore on the side. I'll go ahead and clean it once more. Okay, I think that's about it. As far as the glass goes, right here, there's always glue that stays here on on old film so we'll go to we'll go ahead and do this right here and that's pretty much it if there's something i might have stayed behind we'll go ahead and uh do this once long strokes i heard something there go back keep on doing this long strokes that's pretty much it all right guys pretty much we're done with that long passes just in case something stayed behind all right we're done with this let's go ahead and go outside and pre-cut our pattern okay so carbon film this type of film has very aggressive adhesive and i'm going to use a special type of slip solution to handle this guy right here i saw yesterday on the uh on the Facebook page, somebody was tinning a Range Rover, and I saw how the film was sticking onto the uh, to the glass, having a hard time with that hydrophobic coating and shit. And 
we're always trying to use some magical liquids to try and not have uh, hydrophobic coatings and techniques and all that. So that's going to go on here today too. I'm going to go ahead and uh, use a special slip and technique. All right. On this type of deal, we're going to do uh, only to the bottom. Um, if I do it longer, there's a seal. The film's going to be here. The seal on the outside is over here, so there's going to be no gap of light. But if I bring my film to where it touches the seal on the bottom, it's going to be sucking water and shit and all that kind of stuff. And that's, I don't want that, man. I want to do a wham bam, thank you, ma'am, one thing of install and be done. Cut and slide, pretty much. Okay. Cut and slide over that way a little bit to cover any potential light. Okay, this is what I want to talk about, this particular window. It applies to all the windows, okay, out there. Because of the fact that this guy is curving up this way, do not do the mistake of cutting from way over here because it's already curving that way. So when you lower the window down, you're going to have like a gap like this, and then you're going to try and correct it by recutting up there, but you're going to have a chunk of light missing. So we're going to cut it down here and then slide it. So all the, all the ones, if you make patterns, don't start from here because when you lower the window, it's going to be a, about half an inch of space of film. I'm sorry, clear glass that you're going to, it's going to be exposed and you ain't going to like that. I mean, I mean, you're not. Move it this way, of course, already. I'm move it this way now. About yay much. And then we're going to go ahead and move them over there. And you'll see what's going to go on right now. Okay, that's enough to uh, cover the gap of light about eighth of an inch this way. All right. Lower the window down here. Okay, the other thing is right here. Sometimes, and you can see in this one, this one goes like this and it drops like that. Sometimes when I make my cut on the outside, I make a cut here and then take it to the glass, put one of these guys and do this. But the thing is right at the edge because this has to drop off and my film's gonna go straight. It might start peeling from there if it catches. So I'm gonna do a little bit different thing that I've never done before. We're gonna go ahead and do a, a thing like this, watch. I already used these clips uh, for removing glue, so I'm gonna move them out of the way here. And um, this is the deal, right? We're gonna go ahead and do a cut and drop with glass, like somewhere around right here. The reason I wanna do it here is because like in a 10 off competition or customers, if you start doing this cut here and then here, if there is a small variance, it's very noticeable for a customer here but not over here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. This is what I'm talking about. Do this and follow the glass like that, all right? And there's a small little curve this way. Now from here, go ahead and take it this way, right? Go ahead and take it this way. And I'm not too good with this angle, but it's gonna have to do, right? And we'll follow them all the way straight down and then continue. Remember where I shifted them over? Okay. Remember when I shifted them over about one eighth? When this one moved this way, watch this. Where is the shift? There is none because I already know that from experience. If I cut in the edge and continue cutting, when I lower it down, there's always going to be a gap of light. This one, it's open this way, and I actually, when I was doing this, I was feeling the edge of the glass. <sighs> your film is not gonna be on the edge of the glass when you apply it, because when you apply this, you're gonna wanna leave a gap there, so to leave a gap there, you need to do this again this way, like yay so. So when you do that and leave this small one thirty seconds of an inch gap here, it moves away from the edge there. So all these tricks, they have to happen with your eyes closed. I mean, I can't stop on every video and explain exactly what I'm doing, but I'm, this one I'm gonna do, it's gonna be there in the, in the uh, comments or the videos forever. So go out there, see it many, many times slowly, and you understand all the, look at the pattern here. There is no like variation of cuts here and there because I already knew what was going on. If there is one, there's probably right there, right there, right there. It's so small, right? There you go, it's like a hair. I'm gonna do this here. That's on the bottom, nothing here. Here, do this, just in case. Here, 
what I was mentioning to you how the glass comes down so we're just gonna go ahead and finish it off like right there there okay. there that's it you're gonna go ahead and get to see what that looks like on the actual glass get this out of the way real quick now all right I think we already cleaned this glass already, so let's go dig for the install. Okay, more things that I'm gonna be talking about. When we push this guy up here, go ahead and do the lip real quick. Always talk about that lip, always. All right, since we already cleaned the side, I don't wanna like, when I do my squeegeeing, I don't wanna push three tons of water, boom, there, cause it's gonna hit the wall and come back and I don't like that. So we're gonna do a different, squeegee technique on this one like this watch what we'll do from here push everything this way and down not in there and continue doing this 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 and all the way down and that's it on the side I'm gonna go ahead and get um this is um this is a slip solution that I'm that I have to use with this type of film because this type of film has a very aggressive adhesive and I hate it. It sticks and when it starts sticking, you're gonna get those little glue smears and man, I hate those. This uh, spider spit actually from, uh, from Tin Slime. Okay, so we did the thing here on the side. We're gonna do this, walk it down, walk it down, walk whatever is down, not force it that way. And that's pretty much it go ahead and get to it I don't want to bite here I'm gonna go ahead and do this thing right here and do that expose them cover them back up take it from here spider spit was not created for window film but I already told the uh, creator this type of soupy solution creates um, a suspension liquid which doesn't allow your film to make contact with the glass so it makes your film float on the glass before you lay it and because it does have alcohol once you uh, do your thing with the uh, pressing it's gonna stay in place pretty much so with all the other regular installations I use other slips but on this one because I already know the crap that this film gives me I'm using spider spit all right so we do that move them over here to the left okay uh, I saw how you guys were commenting on not leaving the film open in the air that is 100% correct I applaud you for knowing uh, giving that, those tips out don't have the uh, film exposed in the air a lot because of course shit falls from the air and lands on your film okay that's pretty much it easy as that one of the things of maneuvering things don't monkey around with the side too much let the liquid fall down and then we'll manage in a little bit this one right here real nice right there as far as that goes Okay, we're pretty much done there. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up, but before we do, dry all this top. I'm gonna push this up, distribute this uh, pressure away from the side here. And this can be done in like four minutes. I already know most of you can do this window in like four minutes of uh, prep and install and all that, but real slow because I want a lot of uh, talking while I'm doing this, so. You guys can kind of like okay i'll get it i'll practice it and you're gonna knock these out with all the steps that i did in probably seven eight minutes all right go ahead and get this out of the way here i'm gonna hold them there i don't want them to touch so that i can wet this guy and flip them flip them huh there you go. Here's the same thing. Put them up away from the plastic. Is 
lacking liquid. This guy here. If I can involve my fingers the least amount, it'll be better. There you go. So I'll use my tools here and get where I need to get at. All right, we're done there. And let's just finish it off. Distribution, let's go ahead and do it um, away from this right now. I'm gonna push them down like this, and then just do it like that. Pushing them this way with my hand here. That way the fingers can be locked down where I want them to go. As you can see, I'm gonna show you there is no antrail zero. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised it came out this good with me being so much here with the film talking and all that kind of stuff. But now, expect this kind of result extremely clean and clear there. I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna go out and show you here, same thing. Nothing in there, so let's go ahead and remove this guy out of the way. Okay. All right. Try this up, this small finger here. So when you want to do a very close, close micro edge with a zero contaminant on the side, you can try and do it faster, but then when you check out the outside, you might see some little entrails and contamination, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the outside right now. All right. See what it looks like on the outside. There it is. Absolutely nothing all the way to the edge. Scratches from factory is cool. Nothing on this side either. There is no bite marks. There is no stress cuts. The cut here is not straight. It goes with a curve of the glass and all that kind of stuff. And that's it, man. Want to show you this in slow mo so you can guys can appreciate more of a. How do you do this in such a good factory looking way, you know? Well, this is one of the ways to do it. And of course you can do a computer cut. It'll approximate it, but you know, it won't be exactly like what I did right now. Guys, have a, have a great day. GoPro, stop recording.